In prior videos, we showed how to build a flow. Now we're just accessing it. And the goal is to, to show you how to display a flow, how to launch it from a user perspective, either as a display flow or, or launch it as an action. So clicking in on this flow, what we have is just a very simple start with a welcome screen. And if we go out to a user, to a contact record, and we look and see, we, we want to add it down here. And so what we do is to go in to edit the page here. And looking at the page, we get this information. But we say, all right, we've, we've got that. We're going to drag things on here. Now, if we try and drag a flow in, uh, what we see is, is that we can, it'll turn green where we can place it. Uh, first place we see here is that would work. If we drag up a little bit, you can see how the shape changed because this would actually be part of the timeline, the bottom of the timeline. And if we go up higher, we could go up here and above it. There's a little small green line you'll see as it flows around telling us where it's going to drop. So we're going to drop it here. And it's going to say, uh, there's a problem. We don't have any flows available. So what does that mean? If we, if we go out to our flows again, and we see, uh, first of all, if we look at the flow, we're seeing that it's currently inactive. And if we look at this screen, we're also seeing that it's not active. So to make it active, what we have to do is to go in on the flow label to the, to the flow itself. And we drop down. And there's not, nothing here that tells us that we can, uh, we can activate it. So we have to mark it right here as active. And then what happens when it comes back is it's now marked active. And if we look at the flow again here, right, flow, and drag down just to see it, we now have a checkbox that says it's active. And uh, going back out to our contact record, if we refresh that and we say, yes, we really do want to refresh it, this is now going to give us the current version, right? So we're going to close this and we're going to say, all right, this is what we want to do. So we're going to drag this flow back over here and say we want to stick it again right in that spot. And it's going to say, oh, you've actually got a flow active, which is the display flow. And so we're going to say that's correct. That's what we want to do. And it's a one column right now. So we're going to just say save and uh, it's going to say it was saved. Do you want to activate it? Sure, let's activate it. And we want to do the org default. So we're okay with that. Uh, so we're going to assign the org default. Uh, and we're going to save here. And then what we're able to do is, is once it's saved, we're able to go out to the contact record, do a refresh here. And what we should see is the... Uh, the flow launch right here. Okay, so what it's saying here is, is that this is where we're going to display it. It's got a placeholder information. This is basically telling us to finish. If we click this, it's just going to rotate it and finish again. But now we're able to move on to the next video and talk about specifically what I want to do is to look at record ID. So if we passed a record ID, what would that look like? Thanks for watching.